Hey guys, welcome back to Jay's Kitchen. Today, uh, we're going to see uh, how to make a South Indian recipe called Rasam. So Rasam is basically a South Indian dish, uh, a very soupy type of dish, which is very good for your health. So there are many types of Rasam that you can find, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lemon Rasam. So a lemon Rasam is very simple to make and less ingredients and it's very, very tasty. So let's see what are the ingredients we need to make a lemon rasam. So what we basically need is, we need uh, lentils. I usually prefer to use mixed lentils or you can even use uh, just tur dal. But I like to use the red uh, lentils and also the tur dal. And then we need some turmeric, uh, rasam powder. You can even make your own rasam powder but I always uh, use a ready made one. So this is a rasam powder. Uh, one tomato, a little bit of ginger. Uh, and then for the tempering, we will be needing a fenugreek seed. This is optional. If you want to put in the fenugreek seed, you can do so. If you don't want or don't have, it's fine. You can omit it out. And then uh, we have the mustard seed. We have the cumin. And then the esophatida or the hing. Uh, one lemon. Uh, we have ghee. Or you can even use a regular uh, oil. And then we have uh, dried uh, chili peppers. So let me prepare the ingredients and then uh, we can start cooking uh, the rasam. So I have all my ingredients here. I have my uh, one tablespoon of rasam powder, uh, sort of like uh, one eighth of the turmeric uh, powder and then half cup of uh, the lentils, one tomato and then I have two pieces of uh, dried red chili which have, it's broken and I crushed the ginger. Uh, I have my hing I have my lemon which I already squeezed out the juice from one lemon and I sliced like three of the uh, remainder balance of the lemon which can be put in to the rasam and I have my spices here the fenugreek, the cumin and also the mustard seed and that's my oil. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, soaking the uh, lentils and cooking it till it becomes soft. So this is my pressure cooker. I'm going to take uh, my lentils and I'm going to add it into the pressure cooker and I'm going to give it a wash, rinse it for a couple of times and I'm going to add in about um, a half a cup of uh, water, about roughly two cups of water and uh, I'm going to uh, cook it till it becomes soft. So I've washed my lentils, I've added in about one and a half cups of water. You can add in between one and a half to two cups of water. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to close this and I'm going to cook it until it becomes soft and I'm going to mash it until it becomes uh, more liquidy. So while my um, dal is cooking, we're going to be pouring uh, about four cups of water into the pot. So it's going to be roughly around four cups. Okay, and then we're going to uh, add the uh, turmeric, the rasam powder. We're going to add the tomatoes. And also the um, crushed ginger. So I'm going to give it a quick stir and what we're going to do is we're going to cook this till the potatoes become very mushy. So we're going to let it boil and it's going to cook till the potatoes turn uh, soft and mushy. So now we're going to, it's already boiling and the tomatoes are a little bit soft. So we're going to add the dal. Uh, this is the dal that I pressure cooked and it's already soft and uh, mashed up. So I'm going to add this into the mixture of rasam and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it boil I'm going to give it a quick stir slowly so the uh, rasam doesn't pour off so we're going to stir it a little bit and then I'm going to allow it to boil so we're going to wait for this to boil so as you can see, the uh, mixture is boiling right now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in a little bit of coriander. As you know, I love my coriander. So I've already have some coriander cut here. I'm going to add in half and the other half I'm going to add in uh, right towards the end. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of coriander here. I'm going to mix it. And then what I'm going to do is now we're going to uh, do our tempering. So we're going to push this to the other stove and then we're going to do our tempering in the, the stove. So I have one pan here ready for tempering and I'm going to add in a little bit of uh, ghee. Not too much, a little bit should be good. Or you can even use regular oil. a little bit extra ghee occasionally so we are going to add uh, the spices so I'm going to be adding in uh, my mustard seeds about one and a half of this small spoon I'm going to add uh, one of fenugreek and also one of cumin. I'm going to allow it to crackle a little bit and cook. And then I'm going to add in uh, my dried chili and my curry leaves, which I forgot to mention earlier in my video. So we're going to let it uh, So a little bit of esophetida or you can also use also call hang and then we're going to give it a nice mix and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this and I'm going to pour it into this ingredient you don't want to um, saute the uh, seeds, uh, the spices too long because it will get burned. So we're just doing it for a couple of minutes and then we're going to just mix it together with this rasam. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to allow it to boil for another roughly two minutes and then we're going to switch off the stove. So now it's been boiling for almost two minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, my salt towards the end. I'm going to adjust accordingly. Give it a quick mix. I'm going to check and see if the salt is good. The salt is perfect, so I'm going to switch off the stove. And at this point, I'm going to take it off the heat. And as you can see here, I'm going to add in my lemon pieces. And also the juice from one lemon. And this will be my final quick mix. And I'll be adding in the um, coriander leaves towards the end. Just sprinkle for garnishing. And we are done. Lemon rasam is ready. Hi guys, thank you for watching me make my lemon rasam today if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up like my video please share it on your social media among your friends and also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click the subscribe button that's under this video so you'll get all my updated videos and all my latest videos so thank you so much till i see you in my next video bye